Our guest host this morning is Xander Laurie, CEO of uh, SurveyMonkey, and he's got some new data, fascinating new data for us about Uber. What do you got? We did a large survey in London and New York specifically, and the ride hailing services, specifically Uber, have been under duress in the news, right. but they are wildly popular with consumers. And so three, four to one to your second and third best ride sharing options, whether it's transit, rickshaws. It's weird, even in New York, where you can, there's a cab, right. you just go, you just, you just hail a cab versus yeah. so going through the, the whole process. So before or after the new safety report came out? Just last week, so it was concurrent with the new safety report, but we asked about safety. And what we heard was that people feel largely safe in ride hailing services. Right. And if you use Uber, 92% of people feel safe in Ubers. And so while the sexual assault stats are horrific and scary, they did a billion two rides last year. So. Right. In New York Transit alone, over 530 sexual assault cases were reported just last year. So just for comparison purposes, right. it's a horrific crime that scares people when you read about it in the news, but people who ride with Uber and Lyft feel safe. Okay, so let me ask you the more complicated question. If you are Dara at Uber or the guys at Lyft, do you think you can actually raise prices because people love it so much? And the reason I'm asking is there's a fundamental model question and obviously investors are trying to figure it all out. I, I think. Investors are trying to figure out, are these durable business models right. with sustainable unit economics? And if you find that you can't generate a profit at the current prices and consumers tell you they love your service, you're going to raise prices over time right? because you're not going to go out of business. So these companies have to get to generate cash flow. And to do but you that, think they, the love is there, is what you're saying? People are addicted to these services. They're, I mean, the, the London market has gone haywire with their recent you know, regulations. Right. But that's, this is what people want to write. And do you think that they love it so much that actually the, the, the regulators in London can't stop it? The history of regulators is to accommodate to what the people want. So I would imagine there's going to be a resolution in, in Uber's favor or something will come along to disrupt that. Okay. Um, so the, the medallion's worth what now? And I'm surprised oh, that New York City medallion. I'm just surprised that it in a really crowded urban area that's still Uber because it's a pain. Because there's so many Ubers out there. You my Uber, you my Uber, you. And a cab is right there. I, I mean, I can see out where you can't get a cab. I think like that, it in, and that's when people like Uber most. Okay. Right. right. No, so it is out right. there. Yeah. We're going to take a pause and come back uh, with John O'Brien and talk to him about uh, Bloomberg's chances because he's got some interesting numbers. John O'Brien. But to hold on, but to answer your question, um, a medallion in New York City is now $200,000. Are you on eBay? Or are you, or Down from a million. Down from a million just in 2013. So even here. Yep. That's, uh, yeah, there's people that, I mean, are trying to help these guys out, I think. Even. The good it, folks at Google said. Yeah. Okay.